going to work in my 2017 composite art journal. I am going to work on a Joggles Art Adventures prompt. The prompt that I'm going to work on is called Vertical and Horizontal. Now what I'm going to do for this prompt is I have cut some strips out of a magazine. Just These are just one inch strips that I just cut vertically down the magazine and I noticed I separated them out the ones that have a lot of color on them and the ones that have a lot of white. I'm thinking that I want the colors but I've noticed that they are predominantly blues and greens and I want a little bit different color in there than just blues and greens and whites. I do like the white. I will be using those. So what I've done is I painted some magazine pages out of the same magazine. My favorite color, gold. <laughs> and then I have two pages here that I've had just sitting around that has some light blue and purples in them. So what I'm going to do is, I do not do a lot of quilting, but I do know there is a pattern called the log cabin quilt that goes vertically and horizontally, and it ends up in little squares. Now I think that I'm going to do four inch squares, three rows of four inch squares, and this is not going to be anything spectacular, it's just going to be me having fun with vertical and horizontal strips of paper on my art journal page. So I'm going to get started and when I'm finished I'll come back and talk about the result. little two inch squares for the center. I may change that as I go along but that's what I have now. I may just want little one inch squares. I have to see. Do I want just one inch squares? No, I want two inch squares in the center because I may be putting something in there. I also marked off four inch squares on my paper. Now this is not exact measuring as if one would be making a quilt. This is my art journal page and I'm just playing. I'm playing with vertical and horizontal. I don't care if my strips are not precise because who knows I may be painting over this in some sort of a fashion anyway. We'll just see what happens to the page. Now the next thing that I want to do is cut them into four inch, three inch, and two inch lengths. So let's say two for each square would be 18 of them. And I'm not going to have a full 12 inches. So for 18, I would need nine, nine gold and nine green and blue, whatever I choose. I think I'll choose green and blues. I may throw some other colors in there. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, I have set my squares in sort of the shape that I want. And they are squares, but they're made up of vertical and horizontal strips that I've painted and cut out of a magazine. And this is not meant to be perfection like a quilter's perfect quilt. This is meant to be an art journal page to have fun and I think a traditional log cabin quilt would say have the same shape repeated across but I'm going to zigzag it because I can. Now also 
I'm going to leave my background paper white. I thought about painting it black, but I like the lines on there. And I will probably apply a stain over this when I'm finished, which will take care of everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and collage everything down and let's see what I end up with. I have my entire page covered with vertical and horizontal strips. My squares don't match up exactly, and I know that there are little spots in there. But I left those because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over this with a lighter gold. Just because I like to play. And I want, I believe, a fairly heavy coat of it. But not so heavy that it covers everything up. This is where I'm at on this page. I have the log cabin patterns in the background. And I went over them with a gold glaze. So I have the vertical and the horizontal in the background. I like these letters that are showing through from... The advertising on the strips. Now, speaking of strips, I took some of the white strips and tore them so they have ragged edges. And I am going to put them vertical and horizontal on this page. My page is finished. I'm not going to pick it up because I just painted the edges here with my fine line paint applicator and this is very wet. It needs to dry. But I did the log cabin quilt pattern inspiration in the background which was verticals and horizontals on each block and then I did these vertical text strips this way and horizontal colored strips this way. I used a vintage old time cabinet card and this is the original and I decided to use the original because it was cracked down here. It had been folded and I thought well I can't do it any more harm by putting it on my page and then I used that screen printing ink in the background, and that ink is water-soluble. I'll need to spray this with a fixative. But the advantage of that was that I could color the edges of this cabinet card to match the overall tone of the page. And then this is just a little journal spot that I cut out of a magazine. It says, it is what is on the inside that counts. So I'm very happy with the results of this prompt. I need to go back and do the two previous prompts are, are um, open and home. I need to go back and do those. And I will be, I was inspired to do this vertical and horizontal prompt. I'm very happy with this page. It's going to make another really nice page in my 2017 composite art journal.
I will see you on the next page. Mm-hmm.